Hello everyone friends, today we will play a very unusual game. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today. Wow, you presented this game very formally. Okay, I think it's time to get into this creepy elevator. Wait, what just happened? I didn't understand what I saw at all. Okay, looks like this elevator is really going to be the scariest. I'm already very scared of all the design in this game. I hope that this design will not scare us so much in the future. Okay, it looks like our elevator has stopped somewhere. Wait, what room is this? This room is really extremely scary and there is some very creepy image on the TV. Wait, it's some kind of monster. It's that same girl from that scary movie. It looks like she is hunting here for all the players. We better hide around the corner. Yes, this is a really great idea, because this monster runs really fast. More precisely, this girl. And in general, she looks extremely creepy. God, I don't even know what we should do here. She really runs here like crazy. Thank God we were able to survive this floor. Lord, I didn't even hope that we would be able to hide here, because it seemed to me that this girl would definitely catch up with us. Look! We're on the next floor and it looks like Spongebob's underwater world! Oh my god, this guy is the creepiest! He has huge black eyes with red dots and it looks like he's going to hit other players! Okay, I think what we need to do now is find some perfect position and hide from this guy. Look, we ended up near Patrick's house. I think it's the perfect place to hide from Spongebob. But it looks like he's running around somewhere nearby. Because I can hear his voice, we need to find some better shelter. For example, right on top of his house. I think on top of the pineapple, he definitely wouldn't find us. Great! We were able to get to the next floor. I didn't think we'd actually be able to hide from SpongeBob. Look! On the next floor, there is some strange, incomprehensible guy with a stick in his hands. Wait. Now the light went out, and when he appeared again, this guy disappeared. Okay. I noticed that there are coins in this game. And I think that we should start exploring this location to find coins. Maybe they will help us buy something. By the way, there's some kind of water tower here. Wait, there's also some kind of hatch here. Oh, it looks like we're back in the lobby. Well, okay, I think this is the perfect chance to find out what we can spend the coins we've saved up on. By the way, I'm interested to know how many we have. I think we need to find out right now. It turns out that there are three different types of currency here. And it looks like coins are the top type. Okay, it looks like we bought some weird spring. And with the help of this spring, we run much faster. But we still have some money left, so I think now we need to find something we can spend it on. I think we should spend our stars that we have. Great, we just spent a star and got some kind of stick. It looks like with this stick, we can, we can become invisible. Okay, I think. Now with all these boosts, it's time to go explore this game further. Okay, we're back in the elevator and it looks like the game has already begun. The guys are hiding from Slenderman in this forest. Oh no, wait, what? He just appeared right next to us and scared me real bad. This guy is really creepy. I'm really surprised by how calmly you reacted to this because I jumped out of my chair when I saw this guy next to us. He's really creepy. In general, all the Slenderman games always scared me. Okay, now we're going to the next floor. And here we are on the next floor. Okay, let's see what awaits us here. By the way, I think we shouldn't forget that we can use the spring. And it's also really cool that we didn't lose this spring after we died, because I thought that our entire inventory would update immediately after our death. Look, one of the players climbed to the very top of the tree. I think we should also try to climb right there because this monster is running around near us. We urgently need to find a way to get up there. And by the way, it seems to me that this monster ran away in some other direction. We are very lucky because of this. Okay, we jumped to the top of this tree and became invisible. Thanks to this, we managed to avoid meeting this monster and we are going to the next floor. We got to the next floor. Wait, are you serious? This is the location where Freddy the Bear and all the other animatronics will probably be? God, I'm so scared of Five Nights at Freddy's. I recently watched a Let's Play on YouTube for this game, and it seems extremely creepy to me. In fact, in this game, you shouldn't be so afraid of them, because here they are not as scary as in the original game. At least they definitely won't appear as suddenly as they did in the game about themselves. Okay, here we need to be extremely careful. By the way, it's a pity that we can't press these buttons. Oh no. This Freddy was able to come up to us and damage us. 
It's good that we managed to survive, because it seemed to me that he could kill us just by touching us. I hid behind this huge curtain because I don't have much HP, and I'm afraid that right now Freddy or Chica might appear from around the corner and suddenly kill me. Hooray! It looks like we managed to survive this elevator, and now we will head straight to the next floor. By the way, with the help of this spring, we really move much faster, but I don't understand why we collect all these strange keys. Oh no. We got to the next floor, and it looks like now we will have to hide from the clown Pennywise. By the way, here he is right here. He is behind these rusty bars, and now he will run after us. Oh no. He appeared, and now he is running after other players. It seems to me that those players who do not have the ability to speed up their movement speed have absolutely no chance to survive against him. I think these players should try to pick up as many coins as possible, because with these coins they will definitely be able to buy themselves the ability to change their movement speed. By the way, not many players survived this round, and we were very lucky because of this. Wait, did you hear that sound? Oh my god! That's Thomas the Tank Engine, and it looks like we're in for a really interesting challenge! Yeah, we're going to have to jump over that weird lava so we don't touch it, otherwise Thomas the Tank Engine will catch up with us and kill us. And by the way, it seems to me that we have a much better chance of passing this level, because we're professionals at passing these kinds of challenges. And by the way, it looks like we're the only ones left with this girl! Cool! We are really the only players who were able to pass this test without touching the lava. Okay, it was pretty easy, and I am very happy that we are now really considered one of the coolest players here, because no one else could do it. Wait, don't tell me that- Oh no, it's Saw! Do you remember those movies? Oh my god, I think those are the scariest movies in the world. I'm really, really scared of them. Okay, now we need to find a way to escape from this guy. And by the way, he managed to touch us once, but it's good that this guy doesn't do much damage, otherwise he would have killed us right away. We ran to some very strange room, and now we better stay here because the saw is running around this whole strange tunnel and trying to kill other players. Okay, it seems to me that this room is some kind of safe zone, and we really better stay here until all this is over. That's a great idea. We really better stay here and wait until this guy stops hunting us. God, that really was one of the scariest floors. We're so lucky we made it through, and right now, we're heading to the next floor. I'm really scared of what we might meet on the next floor, because all the bosses in this game scare me. They really look extremely creepy. By the way, monsters that we will see in this game constantly appear on this screen, and right now, it's some strange white guy with black eyes whose name I don't know. Okay, let's just run along these corridors and collect all the coins. It seems to me that these coins will be very useful for us. The only thing that scares me is the fact that these corridors are extremely dark, and this monster can appear very unexpectedly for us. I am also very much afraid that this guy can appear from around the corner, but it seems to me that today this is the last floor that we have passed with you, and now it is high time to go straight to the next game. It looks like this game will be somehow connected with that very game! Wait! We've played something like this before! Is it really possible that one of these music dudes will be the killer here? I wouldn't be so surprised by that, actually. Have you even seen what they look like? Oh my god. You were right. There's this white music guy running around at the very bottom with a knife, and it looks like he's killing other players. I think we need to be extremely careful around him. And by the way, we were able to get some boosts at spawn, thanks to which we move as fast as possible. Okay, now we need to find where this killer hid from us. We are really moving as fast as possible, and it surprises me a lot. Okay, but I am also surprised by the fact that we can't find the killer. Oh, by the way, here he is. Look, all this time he was hiding right behind the stairs, and now he is running right after us. Oh my god, this guy caught up with us and killed us. Anything but that. It looks like we'll lose all the boosts we bought before. Apparently there's some kind of currency in this game, but unfortunately we don't know how much money we have. This is a big oversight from the developers of this game. I think we should explore this area better now. It's quite possible that there are some secret items here somewhere that we haven't found yet, and I think now is the time to head to the barn. I really hope that this barn will actually have some useful items. By the way, just look! There are pitchforks here, but unfortunately it looks like we can't use them. Okay, apparently there are no items here. Rather, this room serves as a shelter from this killer. It looks like this killer has found another target and is now chasing other players. Okay, 
I think we should try to inspect all the nearby objects that are here. By the way, it looks like there is a huge carrot harvest here. It's a pity that we can't add this carrot to our inventory. By the way, just look, there is a huge grain storage here, but it looks like this grain storage also serves only as a shelter from this killer. Okay, well, I think we should get out of here and try to explore other locations. Maybe there will be something useful in them. By the way, don't you think it's weird that we call a murderer a singing dude? I think it would be much more humane if we called him Sprunky, which is what he's really called. But it seems to me that no one cares what his name is. To be honest, I wouldn't care at all about the name of the guy who runs after us with a knife. By the way, just take a look. It seems that the only thing left in this game that I can interact with here is this strange ring. It looks like it was some kind of decorative element of one of these buildings, but apparently the developers did a very poor job of creating their 3D models, and now these rings are just lying on the ground. By the way, they fly away from us in a very funny way when we touch them. Don't you think it's strange that in this game the funniest thing for us to do is kick this strange ring? And by the way, now that it's under this gazebo, it seems to me that no one else will be able to get it out of there. It's good that there's a second ring here that we can continue playing with. Let's try to take this ring directly to the killer! Maybe he will become kinder because of this and will not want to kill us! Oh no, it seems that he does not like this ring and he began to try to kill other players, but apparently he is not aggressive towards us. I hope he won't turn on us after he kills the other players. By the way, just look how far that ring flew. Oh no, now he's running after us, and now we need to find shelter from him ASAP. I think we should run towards those buildings we haven't been to yet, because it's simply impossible to enter those houses. By the way, just look. It looks like someone had a campsite here and they left two tents here. Okay, I think we can hide from this killer here. But I think now this killer will be lying in wait for us near the exit. Just look! This guy jumped on our tent from above and now he is waiting for us to leave here in order to kill us. I really hope that one of the players will come to our aid and help us get out of here. It seems to me that without the help of other players, it will be simply impossible for us to get out of here. This guy repeats all our actions and it seems he really wants to kill us. I hope that he will not succeed. At least for this, we need to stay in this tent and not leave it. Looks like we'll have to sit here forever because no other players are rushing to help us. Wait, Jax, did you really decide to change tents? Wow, just look. Looks like another player came here and looks like we can run out of this tent. And that player will stay there and the killer will only hunt for her. This means we can continue exploring this area, although there really aren't any interesting items left here. Okay, I think we should try to shove this weird ring under the gazebo so that no one else can ever play with it. I think it's pretty cruel to other players. Although I don't think other players play with this ring the same way we do. Well, okay. Let's try to tuck this ring under the gazebo so that it doesn't visually bother anyone. Finally, we did it! Okay, now I think it's time to go continue to piss this guy off. By the way, just look! Here it is possible to drive cars. Let's try to do it. Oh no, it looks like it is still paid. Well, it seems to me it would be great if we could still try to get away from this killer in a car. It seems to me that the developers of this game have really gotten very cheeky because usually in such modes you can drive a car for free. And here we need to donate Robux so that we can just drive a car. It's very stupid. Wait! This guy is really stuck in the fence! My god, he looks really stupid. Apparently he really wants to get to these players, but he can't do it. By the way, he still managed to kill two players. Maybe it happened because they got too close. Okay, I think we should continue exploring this area while this guy is stuck in one place. And by the way, I think that if we change our location, this guy will turn around! Yeah, great! That's what happened. Okay, while he's killing other players, I think we can go up! I don't know why we're going up there. We've explored everything there. Okay, maybe there really are some secret places there that we haven't been to yet. And I think Jax can handle finding them. He actually managed to climb onto the roof of this building. My god, this guy is crazy. Okay, then let's try to explore the crown of this tree. It's quite possible that there is something interesting in its branches. I don't think there's anything interesting here except for the most ugly foliage. Okay, now I think we can go down. Wait, did we really fall through the roof? Okay, it looks like this is a location with some free skins. 
This skin looks extremely stupid. It's a pity that here it is possible to use only such skins as free ones. I would like to look a little different in this game. Well, okay, I think that we have already explored almost everything here. I hope that this game would be a little more extensive and there would be more locations and items. But unfortunately, all that is here is only all sorts of donation boosts. To be honest, I can't even imagine what else we can do in this game. It seems to me that we have already explored absolutely everything here. By the way, it is quite strange that in this game we can climb on top of these trees. And by the way, in my opinion, this killer can do it too. Therefore, these trees cannot serve as shelter for us. This is the most funny when these guys try to escape from this killer. By the way, we still have a cheeseburger in our inventory. I absolutely do not understand its meaning. It seems that we only need this cheeseburger so that it makes different sounds. By the way, it is a pity that we cannot gather inside this knowledge. Yes, I am also extremely sad about this. But by the way, it looks like we can try to climb onto the roof of these houses with the help of textures. And by the way, it is quite possible that we will be able to get inside by jumping from this roof into the pipe. At least I hope so. It seems to me that from this side of this building we simply won't be able to get up because we don't have enough jumping range. I think we should find some other object with which we can climb onto this roof. And I think we can use some other tree. We should look for her on the other side of the building. Maybe she'll be here. Oh, by the way, here she is. With the help of this tree, we were able to jump into this pipe. But I think there's nothing else for us to do in this game. And so let's move on to the next game. So far, they are not creepy at all. But we know very well what we need to do to make them creepy. I think for starters, we should try to make some good music so that we can get into a positive vibe. This is a great idea. Let's try to make some positive song that all our viewers will really like. So far, we have some interesting hip-hop track. I think we need to add more drums to make an interesting beat. I think we can definitely do it. I think we're already professionals in creating music in this game. Do you really think we are professionals? I think we are doing this only for the third time, and we are not doing it as well as other YouTubers. Guys, I think this is the least we should worry about. Let's just focus on making the coolest music possible. I totally agree with him. Let's try to make some cool beat here. I'm scared by the fact that your voice always sounds different. I think it absolutely shouldn't be like that, buddy. Tell me what your secret is. I don't really think he'll admit it to us, but I think all ghosts have the same thing with their voices and it's really, really scary. Maybe it's their innate ability. I think this is not something we should worry about now. We should think about which characters are better to add here so that this melody sounds really cool. It seems to me that all the characters that we have added here really sound quite interesting. Now we need to add the last two characters that will complement this melody. I think this pink character is absolutely not right for us. We don't need a choir here. Rather, we need another drum here. I totally agree with you. But for some reason, Jax decided to add this guy in the hood here. He doesn't fit here at all. Let's add this green guy here. I think it will suit us perfectly! Just listen to this sound! I think this is what we were missing before! Okay, I really like this sound, and now we need to try to add something else here! I think it's time to put on the creepy black hat so that we can finally go to the world of creepy music! Because we've created a pretty cheerful melody, and now it's time for us to do something really scary! Oh my god. Every time we dive into this world, even I get goosebumps. The atmosphere here is really creepy. The music we create is also very scary here. I didn't think that a character like you could be scared by anything, especially by some stupid children's game. But in fact, this game also instills horror in me. I'm very scared to look at everything that's happening here. Oh my god, this atmosphere is really the most scary for me. I really hope that we won't be too scared in this game, and I'm absolutely sure that we shouldn't go into the gallery here, because in that case, we'll definitely be very scared. But here today, I want to create the most calm song as we created last time. And it seems to me that this green guy is absolutely not suitable for us. To create a calm song, we need something calmer here. You want to make calm, violent music? Okay, that sounds really interesting for you. I think we might even be able to do that. So let's just focus on collecting the calmest sounds here. I think this blue guy is perfect for our song, but this son plays some too aggressive piano. So I think we should try using the purple guy here. This purple guy makes a pretty calm choir. And because of that, I sometimes think he's perfect for this type of music. And by the way, this yellow guy makes pretty calm sounds too. I really like them. 
Okay, now I think we should find some other interesting sound. By the way, I think the sound of this guy's heart could add a little rhythm to this song to make it more interesting. Okay, I agree with you. This sound really suits it very well. Now let's add a pink bunny to make a perfect chorus for this song. Now this music sounds quite tragic and mysterious. I really like the way it sounds in reality. Okay, we finally got a pretty calm song and I really like it. But now I think we should try to create something new. And for this, we should delete all these guys and try to create some really driving song. Yeah, I think we need to create some song that has a lot of drums and they are really fast. I think it would be just great. Just listen to this song. It really sounds really cool. I also really like this melody. I think now we need to add this guy without part of his head. And by the way, the sound he creates really sounds very cool. And now we need to add the green guy here so that he adds the shaker. And now we'll try to add a blue guy here. But I don't think that will set the pace for this composition. His melody sounds pretty cute. We need someone more aggressive here. I think this green guy is perfect for this role. Although it is quite possible that his sounds are quite strange. Oh, just listen to him. He adds some very aggressive and loud sound. It is quite possible that you really should leave him here. And now we need to figure out who to call the last place here. Maybe we should use this yellow guy, but I think that this sound is not quite right for this composition. It is quite possible that in his place, we can put someone else who will sound much cooler. I think this guy in the blue hood will add a small, interesting melody to the background that is quite capable of livening up this composition. Yes, just listen. Everything that we hear here now sounds really creepy, as if a huge crowd of some creepy warriors is about to appear. I absolutely love this song that we made, and I think it sounds perfect. But now I want to try to create another melody. I suggest creating a melody from completely random sounds. I think we can get something really cool. Okay, it looks like we've added all possible sounds here, but in reality, any melody that has this idiotic yellow sun, I stop liking because it sounds too loud. Oh yeah, I think a yellow sun definitely ruins any song. I think we need to add all the drums possible here to make something as fast and angry as possible. We actually added all possible drum sounds here. By the way, this weird white guy with white eyes makes some pretty interesting sounds. It's weird that I didn't notice him before. Yeah, I'm also really surprised that you didn't notice him initially because this guy really makes really cool sounds. Well, I think we should replace one of these sounds and I think that sound will be a computer. And I don't think we should change any sounds now because this song turned out great. I think we should remove all these sounds from here and try to add all the sounds that we haven't heard today yet. By the way, this yellow guy really scares me. He looks a bit like a giraffe, but the animation of his jaw movement really looks really scary. It's really, really scary. Are you really afraid of all these creatures? My god, my friend, you lived in a basement for several years and you know how to get to hell. I'm surprised that anything in this world can actually scare you. In fact, we ghosts also have intelligence and we are also capable of being scared. For example, I am afraid of a lot of things, like spiders, clowns, and one more thing that I won't tell you. Are you really afraid of spiders? It's good that Kopmo is not with us because otherwise you wouldn't be able to record a video with you. And I'm really interested to know what you're really afraid of. I don't think we should ask him about it. Okay, I think we've explored all the creepy sounds well enough. Now we should get back to normal sounds. Totally agree with you. Those creepy characters and the eyes in the background really got on my nerves. We need to show this game to our guests because last time we really enjoyed playing it. Okay, I think this melody is turning out quite interesting. Today, I want to create something more up-tempo. Wait! Don't you think there was something creepy about this game last time? Yes, I remember that. But we need to try to make good music first before we start making evil music. Wait, what are you talking about? There's something evil in this game? Yes, you will be very surprised when you see this. Okay, well, let's just continue making music. Here, I think it will be quite interesting. By the way, I don't really like the song that is playing now. I think we need to remove the sun from here because it gives too childish atmosphere. Okay, let's try to choose this blue bear. Blue bear sounds quite strange. I think it might fit here, but it's not certain. Okay, these sounds really sound super interesting. 
this white guy who barks, he also sounds extremely strange, but I think this song turned out really interesting. Well, I think that the song that came out with us now sounds pretty good in principle. But now I think it's time to move on to the creepiest songs, and for that we need to take this black hat and put it on one of these little people. I think we'll put this hat on this guy. And now the worst part begins. Oh my god, what's going on here? Why are they looking like that? So in fact, this is the very same creepy melody that we are now going to create. Oh my god, the atmosphere here is even worse than in my basement. Just look at this guy. He's literally standing there with blood in his eyes. Oh my god, it's so creepy. And it looks like his heart is playing the main melody. Okay, now we need to add another guy. And I think that the sound he makes really sounds really cool. I really want to know how much the placement of the little people affects the melody they will play. But it seems to me that it makes absolutely no difference. The only thing that seems different to me is that now these drums have echo added. I think now we need to try adding some more melodies here. By the way, this guy with the blue hood adds a very interesting sound that sounds very cool. And now we need to add this weird robot. Last time we added it too and it makes a really cool sound. Okay, I think this time we should definitely be able to create some really scary melody. By the way, this guy practically doesn't make any sounds. He just makes some very strange vibration that isn't very audible in these tracks. But this pink rabbit creates a very strange choir that also sounds extremely strange. Okay, I think we can remove him, and I would really like to add this guy with a plate on his head because he sets the tempo for this composition. And now we can add from this guy who will whistle. But in fact, his whistle sounds very strange, and in principle, he fits into this composition very well. Okay, now I think we need to find another sound that can scare people. Let's say we can add this green guy. But by the way, because we added him, the song starts to sound faster and more aggressive. Yes, you are right. Now this composition is really very tense, but I like its tempo. I really like this kind of music that is fast. I think this is the best melody we've ever produced in all our time playing here. Okay, last time we went to the gallery in this game, and there really are a lot of different strange things. For example, in this picture, the guy says that they have hands. And here it is shown that the creators of this little green man were inspired by this guy. The guy from a very creepy childhood cartoon. Oh my god, just look at his eyes. He really does look the most unpleasant. Okay, now it looks like this gallery contains the most horrible things that can exist. By the way, I think I want to hear new sounds in this game. Oh my god! Every time we scroll through this gallery, I get extremely scared because all these images that are collected here really look disgusting. I would never want to see them again. I think we can try to create a composition of another genre that will sound really interesting, but in fact, I am very scared of the atmosphere here. Especially these clouds with eyes that are in the background, because these eyes really look scary. Okay, now, let's try to make this melody sound as pleasant as possible. I think that with this choir and this piano, this melody will sound somehow inspiring. Do you really need an inspiring melody here? Okay, bro, I think this is the stupidest idea because basically, the atmosphere in this game does not encourage you to compose inspiring music. I'm surprised that he said this, because in fact, in their estate, the atmosphere is always even worse. Now we're gonna add a computer. By the way, this computer adds the voice for this song, and it sounds really scary. Okay, I guess we can add this orange guy here, but actually when we add him, the melody starts to sound more up-tempo. We need something that will sound extremely slow. By the way, it seems to me, or this guy is different from the other blue guy. I think we can try adding it to different characters. And by the way, the melody that the blue guy makes, I also really like. He just adds another nice piano with this sound. By the way, it seems to me that we managed to create an inspiring melody because everything here sounds extremely calm and very soothing. I really like the melody that we are getting. I really like this melody too. Now it all sounds impressive. Okay, now we'll add this guy and he adds a really nice whistle. Do you hear what kind of song we're getting? I think it's really cool. This whistling guy really fits in here. And I think he creates a really cool atmosphere here. I like him. I totally agree with you, he's cool. Okay, now we've added this guy who's missing part of his head, but I think we need to remove him from here because this sound is really the most inappropriate for our song. We need to add something calmer. We need to think of someone else we can add to this composition. For example, this guy. Although no, he makes weird sounds too. 
I actually have almost no ideas. We can add this one. Yes, he adds quite calm sounds. I really like these sounds. I think that we really got a melody that sounds really cool and calm. I'm surprised that it's really possible to do this in this game. Okay, now I think we need to keep changing our components. Now we can remove this and instead add some other calm thing, like this blue guy who will just give a choir. Yeah, that guy in the hood really adds a really cool vibe and I really like how that melody sounds with him. We really get it to be as cool as possible. We really have now got the coolest melody possible. Listen, now our music sounds pretty nice. It's not scary at all. Okay, I think now we need to try to create the most random composition that can be. So I think we'll add these guys. Here we'll add a choir and a tree and I think we've got quite an interesting song. The idea of creating a random melody sounds really cool. We've heard all these sounds before, but I think even with such a weird set of sounds, we got a really cool and interesting melody. I like it. I'm surprised that we managed to create such a melody. Actually, I think this game was really cool, and I like playing it because the music we make here is really atmospheric. But I'm really scared of those creepy faces. Okay, now let's move on straight to the next game. Oh, is this some new game? I'm very interested to see what it is. And by the way, everything here really looks very similar to your amazing digital circus. Yes, this location was really created to look very similar to our amazing digital circus, and the developers really put a lot of effort into making it look like this place. And they did it really well. Well, let's move on. I really want to see how this game looks like as a whole. I hope you really like it because we really like this game very much. Okay, we got to the first boss and just look who it is. I think everyone recognized the character who will now hunt us. Oh yeah, this is our friend who spent our entire adventure somewhere in the basement. Well, I think we'll be able to escape from her pretty cool because she doesn't move that fast. And in principle, she has very little chance of catching us. Wait, what's going on here? Why is she teleporting? It scares me so much. I really hope she doesn't do that often. And anyway, it looks like she can't get to us here. Well, okay. Now let's go up this spiral staircase. This spiral staircase is very huge. We really have to climb it up for a really long time. I think this is the most boring part of this game because this climb up the spiral staircase is really very long. But we finally managed to get to the very top. Well, now we need to go straight to the room with the toilets and go through it completely. Now we will need to open this door and dig ourselves a tunnel into the giant gloink nest. Yes, we are finally here. Well, this place is really very creepy and scary. By the way, I really like the fact that here, instead of lava or some other liquid, some strange green liquid is poured. This is extremely non-trivial for such modes. I really like this too, because usually in these modes there is lava or some acid spilled there, but here it is some weird green liquid. I really like this. Okay, now we need to go straight to the corridor with the huge rolling ball. Finally, we are here. Okay, now we will have to run through it. I hope that our new friends are not scared of this corridor, although in principle our new friends look as if they themselves could scare this corridor. Yes, such places do not scare me at all. You are very lucky that you have not seen my basement. Well, okay, let's quickly pass this test and move on. I am very interested to see what we will go through next in this game. Just look who is the boss here. It's our friend who is always too lazy to participate in adventures. Why is she trying to catch up with us? But it seems to me that she has absolutely no chance because she moves extremely slowly and her artificial intelligence is too stupid. You really managed to escape from her very cleverly from Jax. I am very surprised that there is such a stupid artificial intelligence here. It seems that this game is really very simple. But it seems to me that I definitely could not play this game because I am extremely bad at playing games. By the way, just look. It's really some kind of very scary black passage. But it looks like through it we can simply go beyond the textures and we definitely don't need it. So I think we should return to our route and continue playing this game. I really like this game already. It is very bright, colorful, and dynamic. And I like it much more than the game you showed us yesterday. I hope that we will play games like this much more often. By the way, we have already reached our favorite test in this game, namely the energy drink race, and now we will pass it. I hope that we will not have problems with its passing. Now we just need to run this race with energy drinks and finally get to the finish line. I really hope that we can really pass this test. 
Although, in fact, I don't even doubt Jax because he has already passed this test a huge number of times and nothing has stopped him. Okay, finally we passed this test. Now we need to go up the stairs and go straight to the room where we will need to use the stairs to climb into the ventilation. By the way, we are going through this game today really extremely quickly. It seems to me that we have never passed this game so quickly. Yes, Jax really manages to get through this game very quickly. Only 250 seconds have passed and we have already reached the bridge with fans. And by the way, now the most boring part of this game will begin, which I like the least. I generally hope that someday the developers will remove this entire boring part of the game from here. In fact, these tests are not so bad. Their only downside is that they just never change and always remain the same. It really pisses me off. And by the way, our new guests probably don't know that a huge number of different other games are based on similar games and they really do repeat themselves very often. We hate this test with valves only because this test remains the same in absolutely all games. Yes, that's why we're trying to get through this test as quickly as possible, because it's really annoying. And now we need to go up and head straight to the ventilation, through which we'll run further. Wow, guys. I really like this game too, because there are a lot of adventures in this game. We really go through a huge number of different tests, and they are all really cool. I hope that you will show us even more similar games that will be just as fun to play. You can be sure of it! We are specialists in finding such games. And now we need to run through this ventilation, and then there will be another rather interesting test, which is also really fun to pass. I really like this game much more than the one we played yesterday because it has much more entertainment. And in general now we are going through some kind of maximally interesting and colorful test. It seems to me that such games are extremely lacking in the world because there really is a lot of action here. I think you will be even more surprised when we have to play a thousand similar games one after another and see the same location with modified textures every time. It will be really funny for me because to be honest, I am already a little tired of games of this type. I think this game is really good and I really like it. I'm really surprised that we're seeing Jax now and I'm actually really enjoying the fact that we're shooting food at him because our last encounter with him was extremely negative, at least because he sucked me into a vacuum cleaner. I think you should stop bringing this up every time we play any games because you've already been talking about it for the second day in a row. And to be honest, it seems to me that only the lazy don't know that it was Jax who sucked you into the vacuum cleaner. Okay guys, I think we should stop thinking about this and focus on defeating Boss Jax because he is very actively coming our way. I think he really wants to kill us. Oh no, wait, did you actually try to use this bug? Jesus, I think we should stop trying to do this because this bug does not help at all. It usually pushes us in the opposite direction and that's where it ends. Yes, we really should stop doing this because it never does anything useful and now we need to go down this hill and fly over a huge chasm. Great, we really did it but it would be really cool if we could really use a bug that would push us straight there. We finally got here. And by the way, there are three whole rooms with an exit. But to be honest, I think that the developers shouldn't have added them here because there is always one exit. Okay, now let's go straight to the wind tunnel through which we will rise to the top and try to avoid lasers. Wow! I really like these colored lasers and I like the design of this game in general. In fact, it seems to me that the developers have not yet created a single Barry's Prison Escape clone that would be so beautiful and pleasant. I think that it is even better than the original version of this game. I totally agree with you. I like this mode a lot more than a huge number of other modes. Well, okay. Now we need to take this metal bar and start moving it so that we can get to the other end of the abyss. It was actually quite an easy test. Looks like we finally got out of here. Oh no, just look. We got to the final boss and the final boss is Kane the mechanical robot. My god, this guy really does look as scary as possible. I really hope we can actually beat him today. I didn't think that you were scared of some mechanical robots. But you can absolutely not worry about this, because we very often fight with such bosses, and all you need to do here is shoot at their hands in order to break them. There's one last shot left. Great job, Jax. You're great. I really liked this game a lot, and I hope I'll like the next games you show us just as much. And now let's move straight to the next game. Are we really going to make music here? Okay, I really like this option. Let's try to make some really cool music. I wonder what sound that green guy makes. I think he must be cool. Just listen to him. It's the sound of some kind of maracas or something like that. 
Okay, now I think we need to add this little sun here. Maybe it makes some cool sound. Let's listen to it. Oh no, let's remove it. I feel like it's turning our cool track into some kind of children's song. I don't like it at all. This red guy looks pretty aggressive. What kind of sound will he add to us? Yeah, I really like that drum sound. Computer, but what sound can it add to us? Well, I think we should hear it. Oh, it adds some very funny voice that sings a cute song. We're definitely keeping him. And now we need to add this guy with the Daft Punk mask. He should give us a cool sound. But in reality, this sound isn't very cool. But nevertheless, we'll keep him. I think we have a pretty good song. Now we've added this white sun. I wonder what sound it makes. No, it makes some kind of barking dog sound. I don't like it at all. By the way, I don't see anything wrong with making a cute children's song. I think it could sound pretty cool. Now let's add that weird purple demon. Oh no, I definitely don't like the sound of it. I thought it would be more aggressive. I think it would be better to add a robot sound here. Yeah, I think the robot sound fits here perfectly. Now let's add something else. Maybe this hat sound? The sound of a hat? But how can it sound? It's a hat. I don't get it. Oh, it turns out it's a whistling guy. Well, actually, that sound fits here pretty well. And I think we'll keep that too. And we'll replace that red demon with something else. I don't even know what sound to add here. Maybe we should make this guy blue? Oh, it turns out that's the sound of the choir. But it makes this song really more aggressive, and I think we'll keep it. It's weird that we're trying to make this song aggressive. I think it's almost impossible if we keep leaving this computer in the center because it's trying to make this song cute. Why did we add that purple demon again? His sound is really terrible. I think we need to add that bucket here. I think it should make a really cool sound. I wouldn't call this sound cool. Rather, it sounds weird. Well, I think we need to try swapping these guys. Maybe depending on the color placement, the sound changes too? I think it should work that way. And now we will need to listen to how our compositions will sound fully. But I think that we will need to try to add all possible colors here. I think there are still a lot of colors here that we haven't tried. I think we need to try this yellow color. This sound is really the weirdest. I don't think it fits our song perfectly. Yeah, I think it should be removed too. It sounds really weird, but it looks like Jax likes this sound and keeps listening to this song. Okay, I think now he needs to decide what new sound he'll add to replace that gray guy. Guys, to be honest, I don't know if this yellow guy is needed here or not, but I think just in case I'll remove him from here and add the orange guy here, I hope he will sound cool. It looks like this guy is adding some kind of drum sound. That sound sounds awesome. Wait, what happened? Oh no my god, we added that black hat and it just got creepy as hell. Oh my god, this really looks as creepy as can be. Oh no, the sounds in this game seem to be really creepy. Just look at that guy with a drum cymbal on his head. In my opinion, it looks really creepy. But to be honest, I like these sounds much more than the previous ones. I agree with you. The sounds of this game are really cool, but I think it's the atmosphere that looks as creepy as possible. I really wouldn't want to be in a place like that. This place is truly the creepiest. Just look at all those eyes and faces. My god. Did you even notice that the guy standing second has a symbol instead of half his head? It's truly disgusting. But just listen to this song! It really sounds cool! It's like a soundtrack to some really cool horror game! I would really like to hear this soundtrack completely finished! Oh my god! This music and the atmosphere here really scares me! Just look at everything that's going on here. All these images look as creepy as possible, and the sounds they make are also as scary as possible. It's probably strange, but I also like this music much more than the music we made before. By the way, there is some kind of gallery here, and it seems to me that in this gallery there is just a huge number of some strange, incomprehensible pictures. Oh my god, these pictures really look creepy, but I think we need to see what's actually here. I think this gallery was created by some mentally ill person. Okay, let's get back to making music, and I don't even know what sound we should add. Damn, I think I might have a panic attack from this music. It's seriously some kind of crazy. But I think we still need to hear all the sounds that are in this game, because we didn't just get here for no reason, right? I think if we stay here for a long time, I'll start to go a little crazy, because this atmosphere is driving me into a really terrible state. Wait. Did it also seem to me that everything started to lag here? God, this is really terrible. By the way, it sounds like a soundtrack to Hotline Miami or something like that. 
I feel really creepy in this atmosphere, but for some reason I like it. It's quite possible that it's because I really like horror games. I'm really starting to get scared by everything we see. Just look at all these images. And those creepy eyes in the background, they really scare me. It seems to me like they're looking straight into my soul. In fact, I really want to look at all the possible sounds. But every time we switch something, it starts to scare me more and more. It seems to me that this sound is already atmospheric enough. No, I still want to hear more possible sound options in this game. I think we can create some cool combination from all the sounds that are here. I feel like I'm going to wet myself soon from all the sounds we hear here because it all really sounds really creepy. But by the way, when we added this sun with an eye, it helped to slightly dilute this creepy atmosphere with a positive piano. We don't need positive sounds. We came here to listen to all sorts of horrible creepy sounds or something like that. And by the way, wait, is that really a tree? But what does it even sound like? I want to hear it separately. Let's try to hear this sound separately. I think it will be interesting. Oh no, it's just some very quiet ambient sound that is not very scary. Well, okay, it seems that now our composition sounds not perfect. We need to try other sounds. I wonder what sounds from them we haven't tried. Wow, just look, that yellow guy looks really scary. The way he clicks his teeth is especially scary. And by the way, that guy in the hat who was whistling before is now standing here with a bullet wound in his forehead. I am very scared of this sight, and especially very scared of this pink bunny because she reminds me very much of me, but the female version. Lord, I am extremely scared to look at all this, and I want to get it out of here as soon as possible. Okay, it looks like we've seen almost all the possible sounds except for that weird eye. I think we should try it. Oh, it turns out this is the same sound that was here originally. It's kind of extremely quiet and stupid. It seems to me that this sound is absolutely not interesting to us. This is also some kind of extremely quiet ambient. Okay, I think we've listened to all the sounds available to us, and now I think we should get out of this game as soon as possible because I think I'm starting to go crazy. Okay, I think we've listened to all the sounds available to us, and now I think we should get out of this game as soon as possible because I think I'm starting to go crazy. Hello everyone friends, and today we will play a very scary new game about the zoo. Scary game about a zoo? That sounds stupid. How can a zoo be scary? There are so many different cute animals in it. I don't think zoos can really be scary because there are so many different predatory creatures living in them. Maybe this game will be somehow connected with predatory creatures? In fact, all this time this guy was explaining to us our duties in the zoo. And after that, he injected us with some very strange serum, because of which we began to feel quite strange, and he carried us to our workplace. We decided to speed up this moment because it was really quite long and tedious. Okay, it looks like we are finally starting our walkthrough. We found ourselves in some room and there are a lot of different objects here. It looks like there is some very strange toilet here. And it looks like someone missed it when they decided to go to the toilet for a big one. It looks pretty disgusting. Okay, it looks like we're about to get down to our actual duties. Now we need to grab some food and bring it straight to this cart so we can transport it. Okay. We need to take two herbal packets and one vegetable block. I think they should be somewhere in this fridge. It wasn't that hard to find them. Okay, now let's take these briquettes and load them onto this cart. I think this cart will help us carry all these briquettes onto the train. Okay, we've got the last brick and now it looks like we need to take this cart and take it straight to this train. Wait, what was that? It was some kind of really creepy sound like some huge animal slammed into this door. It seems like this guy's face remained absolutely unshakable and he tried to calm us down. But in fact, this whole situation in this zoo makes me very wary. Where have you ever seen a zoo that has trains? Okay, we finally got this thing here. And now, as I understand it, all this food will be stored in a special compartment until we transport it directly to the enclosures with the animals that we need to feed. It looks like now we'll go straight to the enclosures. Okay, now I think we'll need to visit the giraffe enclosure, so let's set our train to the right station and go there right now together with this bearded guy who doesn't inspire confidence at all. It looks like we have finally arrived at the necessary station. In fact, I still can't understand why this zoo needs this train. How do people even travel around this park and have time to look at all the animal enclosures if we even need to use this train? Okay, it looks like now we need to cut these briquettes and we don't need that much food at once for these animals. Okay, that sounds pretty logical. And now we need to see the food standards for them and try to cut off exactly the right amount. 
I didn't think that in this game there would be so many activities that we need to do. But now we need to visually determine how much to force in order to get a briquette weighing three and a half kilograms. It seems to me that visually it is really quite difficult to determine, but I think that it is necessary to make a little less than half of the briquette. Excellent, we did it. And now we can go further. We made a small error, but I think there is nothing wrong with that because thanks to this, the animals will just eat more than they need. In fact, so far nothing has happened in this game except for a scary atmosphere. Okay, we cut these briquettes a little unevenly, but I think there is nothing wrong with that. Well, our internship at the new position is going quite interestingly. Now we need to drag this cart with all these tools straight to the enclosure. Okay, let's do it right now. It's pretty weird that in this game we have such weird responsibilities. In general, I am very surprised by the fact that in such a huge zoo, only one person is doing all these things. It seems to me that at the very least, this zoo should be divided into some groups of animals for which one person should be responsible, instead of one person servicing all the enclosures at night. Okay, we finally got this card over. By the way, just look, now we're going to be in the giraffe enclosure. I've never seen a giraffe in my life, but I'd really like to see one. And by the way, there are some posters painted on the walls, but I don't really want to waste time studying them. Oh my god, just look at this giraffe. He looks really cute. He even lowered his head to say hello to us. Well, okay, now we need to find a place to put their food. There must definitely be some kind of giraffe feeder here. Great! Here's the feeding area! We finally got there! Now we need to put all the food here so that these guys will go here and start eating it. Great! They all gathered here together to eat. Apparently these animals were very hungry. Okay, now we need to look at our next buildings and go to their implementation. Okay, we're done feeding the animals and now we need to get some new tool. It looks like we'll be using this tool to clean up all the excrement in this enclosure. I'm starting to like this job less and less, to be honest. Oh my god, are we really going to do this disgusting stuff now? Okay, looks like we really are going to have to go around and pick up excrement all over this place. Oh my god, this looks so disgusting. Just look at these cute giraffes. My god, I really like them. They have very cute faces, and in general, I have always been amazed by these creatures. How can you even live with such a long neck? I really hope this is the last of the poop, because this task is really starting to tire me out quite a bit. Great. We finally collected all the poop, and now we need to get to the next rank. To do this, we need to get this tool back, and now we need to take the temperature imaging system. I think this thing looks like it can be used to check the temperature. Okay, now we need to find where we can place this device in order to check the temperature of these giraffes. Guys, have you forgotten that we are actually playing a horror game? And so far, nothing nasty or scary has happened in this horror game. It seems to me that this game is even starting to relax me because here we are watching cute animals. Okay, let's start measuring the body temperature of this giraffe and I think he's fine. He looks pretty healthy. Now we need to move this thing and measure the temperature of these two fats. Oh no, the giraffe lying on the ground has a high temperature. It looks like he's sick. Well, now we know which of these giraffes is really sick. Okay, now we are leaving this enclosure and it looks like we are going to take some action now regarding this giraffe that is sick. I think we need to cure him somehow. I think now we need to go and make some medicine for him. Damn, this game is really very cute and it seems to me that absolutely nothing terrible can happen here. Wait, seriously? We need to analyze this giraffe's poop to find out what's really going on with it? This game really takes animal disease diagnosis very seriously. I think it's really cool. Wait, is that blood? I don't think there was any before. What happened here? Oh my god, this guy showed up so suddenly. Did you see? He teleported here, and it was accompanied by a scary sound. Looks like now we need to start making the medicine. We need to make the medicine called Temporalax. Oh my god, this game really has too much attention to detail. I feel like very few games have that kind of attention to detail. I am also very surprised by this. Well, okay. It looks like we were finally able to make this medicine and now we need to use it to cure this giraffe. Now we need to take the tool with which we will inject the vaccine into this animal. But it seems to me that most of all, I would like to vaccinate this pot-bellied guy because he scares me the most. I would like him to stop appearing so suddenly once I did earlier. Okay, now we're inside this enclosure. And now we're going to have to vaccinate one of the giraffes. I remember this giraffe's name. So now we just have to find him among all the others. Okay, great. We shot the vaccine dart into him, and now he should definitely be on the mend. That's great. 
Now we have to go back to the building where our main workplace is located. I think that the internship is over, and now we know all our duties in this zoo very well. Okay, we're back, and now it seems to me that our internship is finally over. Well, the most important thing is that we were able to cope with it, and nothing really terrible happened here that could really scare us. Okay, this guy is leaving, and this means that now we are left here completely alone, and we have duties that we need to fulfill tonight. I think this car is way too cool for a zoo owner, don't you think? Okay, now that this guy is gone, we'll have to get out of here. Wait, do you hear that sound? Someone is knocking on the door. Oh my god, that was so creepy. But it looks like it was our wife who was accompanying us to the internship. It seems that she is very worried about us being locked here, and we need to calm her down somehow. To do this, our main character says that we are currently having a divorce at work. He takes a meat briquette and gives it to his wife so that she can feed the children. In fact, this is very nice, but it seems to me that doing this is a bit illegal. Okay, Mrs. Wife. We brought you meat. Let's give it to her and I hope that at least this night she will be calm because it seems to me that she is worried about us in vain. Although, in fact, quite a lot of different incomprehensible events are happening here. But nevertheless, I don't think that something can happen to us here. Okay, I think we did a really good job today, and I really, really liked this game. I really hope that our subscribers also liked this game, and they will like it and write about it in the comments. And if they really like this game, then we will continue to play it with them. And now let's move on straight to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play the second part of this extremely strange horror game about subway surfers. In the last part, we tried for a long time to kill the final boss, but finally we did it. Well, okay. Now we have a guitar again, and it looks like with this guitar we can hit something. It looks like we can try to knock out some interesting items from these characters. But by the way, unfortunately, we can't interact with them using the guitar. Okay, there are a lot of different comments painted on the walls, and it is quite possible that they can be useful to us. Kane, I think you should stop recording gameplay with us while you're flying in a helicopter. Or what's that weird sound you're making? Okay, the system message told us something, and after we hit that weird announcement, we got one coin. Now we need to figure out where we can use that coin. To be honest, I don't really know where we can use this coin, but I think we definitely need it to move on. Besides, there are a lot of strange characters here. These characters do look weird, but they're actually just regular skins of the main character from Subway Surfers. And by the way, there's actually some Mario in there. Okay, look, there are similar ones ahead of the Grabotron. We need to use it. Are you really calling this thing a Grabotron? That sounds as weird as it gets. Okay, let's use this coin to get what's inside this thing. Wait, what is this? Is this a chicken? But how can it help us? And by the way, I hope that it is not the chicken that died at the very beginning of the game because otherwise I will feel very sorry for it. Now we need to figure out where we can use this chicken. But to be honest, I have absolutely no idea where we can figure out a purpose for it. It seems that this is not exactly the item we need, and we should try to look for more coins in this game. I think we should use the guitar. Great. After we hit this comment with the guitar, we got coins. It looks like we need to go near each comment and hit it. And it is quite possible that for this, we will get a huge amount of coins that we can use in this machine with toys. Okay, I think we need to beat all the comments that are in this game. Let's do it. And then we'll try our luck in this toy machine. I think this is a great idea. And we've already earned six coins. Okay, now I think we should run to that toy machine and see what else we can get. I really hope we get something really useful. Bro, stop making that voice. You don't sound like a pirate at all. And by the way, we just got a cucumber out of that toy machine. Honestly, I can't imagine how we could use it. By the way, I think the same thing about that really old phone. Guys, stop arguing. I think we need to spend all our coins first and see what we get in our inventory. By the way, we just got headphones and we also got some weird wrench. I absolutely don't understand what we can do with these items, but I think we should spend the last two coins. And by the way, we got soap and now we'll spend the last coin. For this coin, we got a game pad. Okay. Now I think we should try to somehow interact with other characters using these things. I think we need to give this Mario something from the items we have. And by the way, he liked the wrench. After he got it, he went somewhere, and now we need to figure out what we can give this guy who sits at the computer. It's really weird that he doesn't like any of it. Wait, seriously? Oh, he liked the soap. Okay, 
Looks like he sat at the computer for too long and started to smell bad. And by the way, we just gave That's Us headphones to the dancing guy. And now we're down to the last two characters. And it seems to me that none of the items suit them. Looks like we haven't knocked out all the coins yet. We need to get to that weird comment. Okay, you're right, we really haven't gotten all the coins in this game yet. I think we need to find another two coins somewhere because there are still two characters left. I don't quite understand. Where can I find the second coin? Oh, look! We just managed to get it! Okay, now we definitely need to spend all these coins in this machine. And by the way, just so we get a hand, I think we'll give this hand to the zombie and we'll give this pill to that weird green levitating guy. Actually, this pill is a reference to the movie The Matrix, if you suddenly didn't understand. Because initially, when our character approached him, he asked him if he wanted to get out of the Matrix.